Hello everybody, my name is Angie McGregor. I'm the pastor of adult ministries at Abba's House and welcome to What's Next. It's a joy for me to get to come to you each week from my home where most of us are working these days. So let's get started. Um, our purpose today is to talk about Pastor Ronnie's message. This week it was titled, There's More Than Meets the Eye. And Pastor Ronnie took a look at uh, the beginning of Holy Week, starting with Christ coming into the town and the people waving palm branches. It was Palm Sunday and that was the focus of his message. He gave us three pictures in his message, a picture of man's hypocrisy, um, a picture of God's heart, and a picture of heaven's hero, which we know is Jesus, our savior. Now, um, we have prepared for you a document, your what's next document that came in your email or whichever way it was delivered to you. I'd encourage you to take this and get started um, reviewing it this week, there are some wonderful pathways that we've created for you to maximize Pastor Ronnie's message and move into a deeper place as we walk through Holy Week together. So here we have three questions. The first one, um, Pastor Ronnie opened up his message, making an important connection for us between suffering and your purpose and how so many times when we suffer, when we go through difficulty, and right now in um, the world, there is tremendous suffering. There's, there's fear, there's difficulty. Um, he talks about the connection between what is happening right now and blessing and, and favor and opportunity that is to come and that Christ suffered and had he not suffered, and had he not given himself completely to the suffering and submitted himself to what was happening in his life in that moment, there would be no reigning for him. He would not be reigning right now at the right hand of the Father. There would be no victory for us who are the recipients of his suffering. So I want you um, to take this document and focus on this point and walk through um, what Christ did for you and this, where you are now and the hope that we have because of him. And the second thing that really, really um, hit me hard and, and caused me to really reevaluate myself was when he looked at the donkey, which was the mode of transportation that Jesus chose uh, to come in for his triumphal entry. The donkey was young, it was small, it was unimpressive. It was unbroken. It had never been written. It wasn't experienced. Yet he chose something small to do something great on, to be the pathway through which he began his journey to his triumph over sin and death. And I think Pastor Ronnie did such a magnificent job of reminding us that we're like that donkey. We're stubborn at times. We are unimpressive at times. We are inexperienced. And sometimes we think we're just not good enough, but that's just not true. Christ loved us so much that he looked at us and said, I choose you. I have need of you. And he did that to that donkey. And I'm so thankful that when I'm stubborn and when I don't feel like I'm t talented enough or skilled enough or experienced enough, and maybe you feel that way right now, that I can know that Christ is with me and he chooses me and he made me and he made you and he formed you and he loves you and you are enough with his Holy Spirit riding on top of you when we submit to his spirit and we submit to, to his impression and his weight of his Holy Spirit on our lives. He makes us usable and he makes us something blessed and significant. So there are three questions here, three thoughts for you. I want you to take those and we want you to, to go through each of these points and discuss with a friend, discuss with your family, um, or just write it down if you're uh, in a place where you're alone right now. And then for what's next, 
we've provided you with four passages. Um, they come from the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And we want you on this Holy Week to take time to sit down and focus and be intentional about getting a 360 degree view of the passion of Christ and what he did for us. And then going deeper, there's some questions there for you to search out and study to learn more. So this week coming up, uh, we want you to be sure and join us for Midweek Momentum at 645 on Wednesday. Uh, you can go to the church online platform in all the different places where it'll be posted and, and join us for worship. And then this Sunday is Easter. And so we are super excited about Easter. I will say we've never done Easter like this. So what we want you to do this week as you prepare spiritually, we want you to prepare your family and take some time out this week. Get everybody dressed up, get everybody matching, do whatever your thing is for your family. And we want you to take a picture and we want you to um, tag us, hashtag AHEaster20, hashtag AHEaster20. We want you to tag us and we're gonna use some of those pictures and you'll see them on Sunday. And we just want you to make Easter a celebration, make it as fun as possible. And we want to celebrate and stay connected with you this week. And then join us at nine o'clock for life groups. Reach out to your life group leader and find out how to join them. And then at 1030, it'll be time for us to celebrate the resurrection of our savior on Resurrection Sunday, Easter Sunday at Abba's house. Pastor Ronnie and the staff love you very much. We are so thankful for you. We are thankful for the way you love, and we are thankful that you are with us. We are with you, and we love you.